transportation of water and food materials through xylem and phloem. Plants need food, water and mineral nutrients to grow and survive. Plant absorbs water and other nutrients from the soil through their roots. Plants prepare their food through photosynthesis by taking in carbon dioxide through their leaves in the presence of sunlight. Every part of the plant needs mineral nutrients and food for their growth. So how water and food materials are transported to different parts of the plant? If the distance between the roots and leaves is very small, food and other materials can be transported by diffusion. If the distance between different plant parts are quite large, as in case of tall trees, they need a proper transport system to carry mineral, nutrients and water from one part to another. In plants, the transport system consists of tube-like passages made up of vascular tissues. There are two types of vascular tissues in plants, xylem and phloem. Phloem and xylem are complex tissues that perform transportation of food and water in a plant. They work together as a unit to bring different effective transportation of food, nutrients and minerals and water. Xylem The xylem is a tube-like passage made up of vascular tissues that helps water and minerals to transport to different parts of plant from roots to the stem, leaves, flowers and other parts of the plant. In the leaves, it is clearly seen as a pattern of veins. In xylem, transport is unidirectional. It means transport occurs in a single direction and that is only in the upward direction. Every year, a tree gains new xylem because the old xylem dies. When you see the cut trunk of a tree, old xylem tubes appear like concentric rings. Phloem The phloem is a tube-like passage made up of vascular tissues in plants that carries synthesized food and sugar from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Phloem transport is bidirectional, which means the transport of food materials occurs in two directions, both upwards and downwards.